Hey there folks, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another trailer reaction and analysis video, and today we are checking out Isles of Adelar. This is one that popped up in my feed. Um, I know nothing about this game, but as always, I see an interesting game from the thumbnail, I guess, and I download it and I check it out with you guys. So this is Isles of Adelar, the gameplay trailer. This is a pre-alpha trailer, so keep an open mind. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. Explore a new world. Pretty boring sequence so far. Oh, it's it's like Skyrim. Uh, a lot like Skyrim, but kind of clunkier. We've got magic. We've got spears. We've got third-person combat. We've got. The same landscape over and over again. That's a cool little creature. A loner in co-op. Ooh, look at that turn. That is not pretty. So, all right. Okay. I said keep an open mind. Oh, here we go. Split screen. That's interesting. Bob 2. Ooh, the run is a little janky, too. Pretty shot. Wow. Very much like Skyrim. Maybe a little too close. Oh, that's like a Twi'lek from Star Wars. I can shed some light on the situation. Oh, okay. This thing I is guess weird I looking. Never considered that. Oh, wow. This is <laughs> really close to Skyrim. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, as, a, as an archer through and through, I am not a huge fan of the one, the way the bows look. Oh, what is this? This is completely different. There's a build sequence in this. Level editor and mod support. That's really cool. I just went from really hating on this to being slightly more interested. That's really cool. I'm not sure how that comes into gameplay. If it's just like design your own thing and show it off or what. But it is kind of cool. Oh, you can completely terraform things too. That's really neat. Everything does have this, like, gray, green, muted tones, though, which I'm not a huge fan of. The wa Is that water? Or is that somebody sneaking? Okay, so. Uh, Isles of Adelar. This is an interesting one. Uh, definitely, there is so many influences to Skyrim in this game that it's hard to ignore them. Um, what I got right off the bat was just, okay, it's this cool world. You've got some fantastical creatures in it. And then you have this walking sequence. You see these kind of floating things in the background. And then it just kind of gets a little monotonous right off the bat with this floating, or, you know, this walking sequence. Everything looks exactly the same, at least in my opinion. Um, you get this night side of the, the world and it's okay. And then boom. Okay. So here's the first sign that things are starting to look like a first person Skyrim, um, rip off. I don't want to say rip off, but a rip off, uh, because after watching this trailer, you can see so many similarities, the creatures that he just fought. I don't know if they're dummies or what, but like, is that a skeleton? What is that thing? It's weird looking. Um, he's holding the shield out in front of him, like a weirdo too. Nobody would ever hold a shield like that. Uh, so that's a little strange. This third person sequence isn't bad. There's a, there's a lot of particle effects going on with the magic spells. There's some blocking going on. So that's a really cool sequence. Then we get into this like alone or co-op thing. You see the rotation of the monster is just like super janky. Reminds me very much of like an early 2000s first person RPG. Um, even, oh, I hate to say it, like even like a mid or to late 90s first person RPG. Um, 
so there's there's something here. Obviously, the, the Aloner co-op thing is really cool. If you got a buddy and you want to play a game like this, this may attract kind of an older type of gamer that likes the Skyrim type thing, likes the slower pace, likes taking things um, at their own speed. Maybe there's something there for that type of audience. The, the in-the-house scene, the graphics are, are again, kind of muted. Um, this character model is atrocious. Uh, one, it looks like a ripoff of a Star Wars character. And two, the face animation is just really, really bad. Um, and then same thing with this character here. Granted, I couldn't do any better. I, I don't mean to sound so critical, but look, that's kind of the world we're in uh, when we're doing trailer analysis and reaction videos. Um, they're showcasing a, a dialogue system. They're showcasing... Um, kind of a interaction system here with Lou and this is this is like straight up a ripoff. So I'm not 100% sure if they're going to totally be able to get away with a game like this. Look, they could just be huge Skyrim fans or huge Morrowind fans and want to go back to that type of game and that's fine. Um, it is very closely uh, similar to those games. So there may be some problems there, but what really, really sold me on this, um, was not the archery. The archery was just atrocious. One, nobody holds a bow like that. And two, everything just looks like really wimpy. Um, but this right here, this was really cool. The level editor building sequence was really, really neat. Obviously I'm getting uh, a lot into those types of games nowadays, but the terraforming, the, the control over the tools looks really, really cool. Again, everything's kind of in the same look, which I get it if it's from the same world, but that's a really cool, um, feature to a game, especially if that's something that you can share with other players and it can be, you know, whole communities are built around mods and mod support. So that's really neat to see. The rest of it was about terraforming, which I thought was brilliant. If you're going to do a level editor, having terraforming in there is just perfect. Um, but the rest of the gameplay, I don't know. It's okay. It's cool, I guess. Uh, if you're into Morrowind, if you're into Oblivion and Skyrim, this may be the type of game for you. So this is Isles of Adalar. This is a Kickstarter game. Uh, I believe it's an early alpha, or this is an early alpha demo of it. Uh, there you go. You can check it out um, on Indiegogo. Uh, October 21st is the day. So Isles of Adalar, if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out there. It's going to be on Steam as well if you want to wishlist it. And as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of these types of videos in your feed. My name is Kodiak and from everyone here at the Game Gurus, thanks for watching and play on.